Hey guys, StepGames here and welcome to another tutorial. Now today we're going to be continuing our series of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Free Roam. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be making uh, the uh, animatronic. Um, so, I uh, let's go to Mixamo.com, first of all. And before this, you need to have your um, own uh, model, okay? Your own uh, animatronic model. So I made my own, uh, it's pretty bad, uh, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, I have to find where he saved because uh, this is quite... Uh, should be around here. Okay. Um, yeah. So um, if you have your own, character models you can also rig him yourself or animate him yourself even but I'm going to do it uh, through this tutorial so this is my, my terrible model so I'm going to set the chin here the wrists over here the elbows over here the knees over here and the groin is going to be over here I'm going to use two uh, Well, the last time I did this, the thumb got completely broken, so I'm thinking uh, maybe <sighs> I'm gonna go with no fingers. You can go with your fingers, but um, last, uh, last time I tried, it uh, didn't go well. Over here we can see our animated character. Um, so this looks good. I think this looks great. I'm going to go next. And we've got our Freddy. Now let's not click on any of the animation and just click on download. Uh, let's keep this. And why am I do downloading this alone? That's because um, this is the rigged model, okay? And we need this. I'm going to save this over here. Freddy, I'm going to call him Freddy Rigged. Well, I, no, I'm gonna just call him Freddy Fazbear. Yeah. <laughs> I, f I forgot to give him teeth, but whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get uh, our idol. <laughs> that looks stupid. That looks even more stupid. This looks cool, so I'm gonna go with uh, over there from zero. So uh, he's uh, hmm. Yeah, this still looks pretty. Uh, <laughs> Stupid. Uh, need this one. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Yeah, this look. This is cool. Let me just uh, do this. That is cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Use this. Now, <coughs> okay, let me uh, make a new folder. I'm gonna call this animations. Oh my god, animations. I'm gonna call this Freddy Idle. Let's find a wall. Is there a robot wall? No. Maybe a robot? No. I'm gonna just say walk. Hmm. 
now uh, always remember to check in place and see uh, what the animations look like we want something scary right No, if you want this, this is pretty funny. I think this could actually work. Yeah, what about this? <laughs> this, is, this is pretty funny, yeah. Yeah, let's use this. This is pretty funny. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, pretty ill. Anyway, I'm gonna call this Freddy underscore walk. Now, uh, do we need anything else? I don't think we need anything else. Maybe a looking around no this is stupid Okay, let's just skip the two we just downloaded. Okay, so I'm gonna go into our custom content, with new folder, well, it's animations. First of all, I'm gonna go into 3D. Okay, don't mind this. This is <laughs> something else. I'm gonna uh, make new folder, call this uh, Freddy. No, if you don't have the 3D folder, just make it. I'm gonna go to where I downloaded this, so um, for me this is over here. Let's uh, use Freddy Fazbear. I'm uh, gonna just keep everything as it is. Uh, import mesh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Everything looks great. <sighs> Alright, we have our Freddy in the game. He's a bit too big, but uh, I don't really mind. It's, we can just kill him down. Now we have our Freddy in the game. Yeah. I'm going to go into our skeleton. And check it out. If it works. loading quite a long time okay so uh, oh my god it's it's lagging so much <laughs> my computer is kind of dying okay nice uh, so I think now we should be able to yeah just rotate him anywhere we want this is good so now let's go um, to our animations And uh, I'm just I'm gonna just wait for the com. Uh, I, uh, never mind. I'm just gonna paste this over here. Now um, le let's just see what pops up. So I'm not. I don't want to import a mesh. I want to choose the skeleton. This is going to be our Freddy Fazbear. And I'm gonna click import all. Yeah, cool. So now we have a. Uh, we can. Uh, now we can click on our Freddy, use animation asset, Freddy idle, free wall, Freddy idle, so I'm going to go press play, you have our Freddy, it's pretty cool isn't it?
yeah so now i'm going to go i'm gonna wait until the compiling shaders is uh, completed i'll be right back we are back um now uh let's go into our blueprints make a new blueprint i'm gonna make this a character let's call this ready underscore blueprint now before all of this we have to add a nav mesh nav mesh bound volume let's just uh drop this to zero 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 scale this up Just put it everywhere where you want the animatronic to be able to walk and press P. And you can see this is where the animatronics will be able to walk. I'm gonna press Freddy. Uh, I'm gonna open up Freddy now. So we've got a few things here. Few, first one is mesh. Now we already have a mesh. Let's make it Freddy Fazbear. I'm gonna scale this down, of course. Kill him so he looks like this. Okay, nice. And for now, I'm gonna use animation asset and uh, I'm gonna use walk. And I'm gonna rotate him uh, towards the arrow. Now let's go to our event graph, event take, and I'm going to. Never mind. I'm going to go big and play. I'm going to go AI move to pawn is going to be self destination is going to be random so I'm going to go get random point in reachable get random reachable point in radius and the origin is going to be get um, actor loca location radius like 1000 now what this means ai move to we want the ai to move who self myself we want this uh freddy blueprint to move and where we want to get uh the origin is get us uh, is uh, our current location right and in the radius of 1000 we will get a random reachable point and we walk there so uh Okay, yeah, basically that. So um, on success, I'm going to go delay. One second. On fail also. Completed. Do this again. Now uh, I'm also going to give him a lower max walk speed. I'm going to go with 100. I'm going to press Freddy over here. No. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try to simulate. This is still too fast, so uh, I might even put this at like forty. Yeah, this is good. So I'm gonna press P. Now we have our Freddy walking. Now we can pause S and go look at Freddy. Yeah, there he is. He's slowly walking. I'm gonna make him bigger because he's very small. I'm, but I'm also going to scale up the capsule. So I'm gonna the height is gonna be larger. I'm gonna make okay like this, and uh, I'm also going to make the radius bit greater. Now let's press play. Nice, this is pretty good. So we have our basic moving Freddy. I don't know what's up with the materials, but uh, I'm gonna fix that later. So the first thing you can see is he's uh, sharply rotating. Uh, basically, I want to go into our character movement. Rotation. I'm going to use control desire rota rotation. I put this at uh, one. F um, 170 and click on us 
and unclick uh, use control rotation yaw. Now if we press play now, it will smoothly rotate. So if I rotate him, it will smoothly rotate uh, to where he wants to go. This is nice. Now, we don't want him to just be walking. We just will have the walking animation. I'm going to go uh, make a new animation blueprint. Now, uh, let's go to animations. Right click, go to blueprints. No, go to animation. Animation uh, blend space 1D. Freddy Fazbear. Go to Freddy. BS. Open this up. Uh, I am going to get the first one, the idol at uh, zero. Uh, I'm going to change it to the horizontal axis, the name is going to be speed. Maximum value is going to be 40. Or, or, or I'm going to, okay, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at 40 for now. And um, now if you hold shift, we can uh, see this smoothly goes from one to the other. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Now well, let's uh, make a animation blueprint. We want uh, Freddy Fazbear. I'm going to call this Freddy. Underscore and then be paid. Open this up now. Uh, let's um, you get our BS, plug this in, and just leave it at this. I'm going to drag out the speed, promote it to variable, call it speed. Now, what are we doing here? Now, this is what it looks like. Okay, so over here, if I change the value of speed, you can see over in the left. Uh, left window uh, we go from uh, staying in one place being idle to walking so how do we get the speed of the character now we go to urban graph get we get try get pawn owner uh, get velocity vector la lane length and this is it so I'm gonna set speed Compound safe. And nice. Now we go to Freddy Blueprint. Choose our Freddy Anim Blueprint. Compound safe. I'm going to change the delay to like 5 so we can see the staying in one place. And let's press play. So he walks. I don't know where, but he walks somewhere. Uh, he's a bit in the air, so I'm going to fix that later. Okay, now he's stopped and uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's stopped. He's standing. So, um, why is, was it so fast? I'm gonna go to a Freddy BS. You can see it's instant. So we want to interpolation time to 0.5. No, that's too much, so I'm gonna 0.2. Okay, nice. Nice, uh, we have our walking Freddy. Now, um, I don't know why the materials are so strange when here they are okay, but uh, whatever. I think that's because of the lighting or whatever. Anyway, this looks horrible. <laughs> I have to uh, improve my modifying skills. Let's go. So now we're gonna go into our Freddy blueprint and expand upon this. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this these two Now uh, I'm going to add a um, Site no. How was it? <laughs> Pawn sensing. Yeah, that's it. Compile save. Now we have to compile. Click on Pawn sensing and you can see this beautiful Vision. 
I'm gonna change the profession angle to like 15, I don't know. And just leave it um, as it is. So um, if you want the Freddy to be able to see more or less, you can just modify these values. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna make it pretty hard. So I'm gonna go click on our pawns, I think, and click on C pawn. So when when he sees something, we want to check if this is the pick. So I'm gonna cross to third person character. And now um, let's um, AI move to. No, we don't want this to be the world context object, whatever. We want this to be the target actor, okay? Okay, pawn is going to be self. Now, we want to make a new variable, is chasing. Now, if he is chasing, if, when he sees us, he w will start chasing us. When he fails, he's going to not be chasing anymore, and when he succeeds, he will not be chasing anymore either. So, well, if he succeeds, this is game over. So I'm gonna print string. Game over. Well safe. Now over here, uh, before this delay, I'm going to hold Control and uh, type branch. If he is not chasing. We will delay and go here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to check this twice. Like this. Uh, now we will... Uh, If he is chasing, we will uh, delay two seconds. And if it's if what is completed, we will go like this, like this. Okay. So when he is chasing us, we will wait two seconds. And if, when it's completed, he will we'll check again if he's chasing us. And uh, do this. Yeah. Great. So, I think this is uh, done, maybe, so let's try this out. So Freddy, what's up? So he saw me now, he's going to go after me. Yeah, so uh, he's very slow, I'm going to change that. So let's go back to Maximo, I'm gonna go run. That's pretty scary, so I'm gonna use that. Um, Freddy, I'm gonna call this Freddy Run. Can import this into the project, Freddy Run. Do the same thing. I've got our Freddy run, so I'm gonna go open, open up my Freddy BS and I'm going to change this maximum to something dividable by 4. So I'm gonna go for a 12. this I'm gonna put Freddy walk over here and Freddy one at the end okay nice so this is how it's gonna go so if it's just 40 he's gonna walk if it's more than 40 he's gonna run 
Okay, nice. Now, uh, if he's chasing us, I'm gonna with event take branch, and if he is chasing us, let's get our movement set max warp speed. Copy paste this. If he is chasing us, I'm going to change it to 5. Uh, if he's not, I'm going to change it back to 4. Now let's see if this actually works good or not. So we this with me. Start running. Yeah, he does. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Can you close the door? Stay there, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, uh, I want him to uh, lose me if he doesn't sing, so uh, yeah, that's a problem. Still, think he always knows where I am. So, let's fix that. I am going to go. Mm, and uh, on Sipon, we got a red ray gun for the light. It's gonna be three, three seconds. Or uh, two seconds. Wait, two, okay. <laughs> Whatever. And if he's not, I'm going to stop him chasing. So when he stops chasing us, okay, I, I don't think I need to do this, but uh, when he uh, when he sees us, this will refresh. But if he doesn't see us for three seconds, he will stop chasing us. So let's try this out. So uh, I want him to see. Stop chasing me. I'm pretty sure he. Uh, okay, so he should lose me now. Right? No. Okay. okay. This is very strange. Checked. So this actually works. Okay, yeah, it works. So he stopped chasing me. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this again. So, okay, so he's chasing me. Close the door. Move right over here. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone back uh, somewhere else. Let's see, he doesn't chase me anymore. And he just walked around me. Okay, so now he saw me. So he lost me again. So we can look at the cameras now. We can see where he is. Now we can see him on the caps. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm going to look on the country. He's walking over here. Let's uh, close this, uh, this door. And uh, yeah, make sure he doesn't uh, go here. No, we don't see him because he's uh, been the camera too much. But he's uh, camping over there. Not even sure. Okay, 
Yep, then yes. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. It's uh, the basic animatronic. Now, uh, this is the functionality. You can do it differently if you want to. I'm going to add some uh, sound effects to his movement. So uh, let's do it. So I'm going to go to the freezer there. Find some uh, metal screen or something for the eye. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna use this. Okay, whatever. I'm going to what? I'm gonna download this. Go to Audacity. <coughs> now I'm going to use this uh, sound effect. Save export this. Now the second one. Okay, now let's find some footsteps. Yeah, you can use these ones, uh, but I'm pretty sure I already have some footsteps. So uh, first of all, I'm going to add a sound. Drop this, uh, these two screeches over here. Okay, hold on a second. So we got to do sound effects. I'm going to go uh, into my Okay, so I think I've saved my uh, yeah, footsteps nice. I'm gonna go with stone. I, I'm gonna just use this sound effect. Uh, let's create queue. Let's put all of these in here. Let's use random. So uh, then we are going to do this, modulator, change it up so this to 0.9 and this to 1.1, .1. so each time we get a different sound effect. Now let's uh, make a sound uh, attenuation. 
I'm gonna call this uh, Freddy. Uh, uh, no, we can test this by putting uh, this over here and giving it the Freddy donation, so we can see how far we can how far we can listen to this sound effect. Now I'm going to change this up a little bit, make this a lot larger. Um, the distance probably, you know, like this. Maybe even smaller like this. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Delete this and let's go to our animations. So, oh uh, no, first of all, I need to open up the screeches. Okay, no, I'm gonna go to each one and uh, I give them the alternation. And go to our stone uh, footstep. Also give it an alternation over here. Save all this. Now uh, let's go to our animations and open up each one. So for the idol, we don't want anything. For the one, we want. Uh, so each time he presses uh, his foot, we will add a sound. So over here, you right click, add notify play sound. This is going to be footstep, stone one cue. Uh, check follow. Now add another one over here. Just to match this up so it um, yeah matches. So um, let's also. Uh, Add a add the courage. Okay, so I'm going to also make a sound cue. Call this speech cue. Open this up. Add this over here. And then. Modulation, modulator. Now I'm gonna make this very different each time. Point seven one. Nice. So uh, now. Uh, you know, because he's a robot. And let's make the footsteps like uh, a lot louder, so I'm gonna go five.
Okay, just play around with this. Now let's go to our walk. Here. And here. Also other screeches. Okay, that's a mistake. to do this. Nice. Remember to check follow for all of the sound effects. Let's go to our um, Also set the automation. Now let's try playing this. Yeah, you can hear it now. I hope you hear this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the <laughs> animatronic. So feel free to expand upon this, but this is the basis. Next time we're gonna polish this, add a timer, um, improve the sound effects. But yeah, see you in the next video, bye!